long as I have been, is because I tell you what you need to hear, not always what you want to hear. Now let me ask you something. Do you see now why this is in your best interest to go at 6%? Okay. What if I, so do you agree with that? Yes. So we're going to list at 2099, you'd like to get 200, at 6%. We're good? Yes. Okay, well let me ask you something, what if I could show you a way that your house could sell quicker for you? Won't cost you a penny. In fact, we're going to let the buyer pay for the extra marketing and exposure. If I could do that for you, would you consider it? Well, here's what I'm thinking. We're going to list at 2099. We'd like to get 200. So I'm thinking, let's list the house at 7%. We're going to hold out for 202. We're not going to touch the list price of 2099 because I don't want to push it out of market range. Now let me ask you something. Which house do you think they'll line up to try and sell first? And I'll make you this problem, promise. If we go one penny under 202, we can talk about it with the commission. Fair enough? Now let me ask you something. Is it easier to go from 7% to 6 than it is 6 to 5 or 4? Yes. Now let me ask you, who's paying for it? The buyer. Did we affect the list price? Heck no. Now even if you did three of those a year, that's an extra six grand. Think about that. That could be your marketing, 500 bucks a month towards your marketing. And what's the worst case they can say? No, you know what, let's just stay at six. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Okay. If that don't work, if they come back and you say, well, you know, Bob from BS will do it for five. I say, well, how did you get them to do it for five? Well, all I did was I asked. I said, Bob, if I give you my listing, will you do it for five instead of six? He said, yes. So then I got this question. If, if, if Bob will give away $2,000 of his hard-earned money like that, how quick is he going to be to give away yours when it comes time to negotiate on your behalf? That's called the wimp agent dialogue. Because <laughs> they're a wimp agent. Am I right or wrong? And I hope no one's getting mad at me. I'm trying to come up with names that you'll remember and that'll be fun and they'll stick with you, but they're being a whip. And then you got the agent that does this. Well, we're going to do it at five, but we're going to pay out three and only keep two. Right? Well, when they do that, that's when you got to master the $6 bill close. So from this day forward, I'm sure you're all going to carry six singles with you. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, let me show you a little technique here. Okay? You guys are going to love this. There's nothing but money in the bank for you guys. Okay, you say, Mr. and Mrs., let me show you how commissions work. There's six bills here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like to do it with seven. Can I show you how to do it with seven? You guys can adjust it. Can I do that? Because I want you to get back. I want you to do seven. That microphone. Where's it? Oh, it's okay. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Say, so, Mr. Miss, let me show you how commissions work. The odds have it, there's one of me and a thousand of them. My job is to get you the most amount of money, not, right? Least amount of time. So, one, two, three and a half. You got to do that. It's called impact communication. We'll go to the selling broker, which leaves me three and a half percent left. Out of this three and a half percent, one is going to go to my broker. One is going to go towards marketing and promoting your property. Half is going to get sent to Washington in taxes, which leaves me one percent left to feed, house, and clothe my family. And you want me to give that to you. <laughs> I think not. You see, Mr. and Mrs., I'd rather leave here tonight knowing that I didn't make any money 
than to work for six months and not make any money. The reason I use the seven is the ripping you all the way. Right? It's a little impact communication. So just these techniques alone, I hope, we're going to help you make more money for being here. The nine and tenth point, I'm going to rapid fire, so you don't need to write them down. I need you to feel them more than anything else. Ninth point is this, is we have to start running our business, what I like to call like an industry leader game. That means that every day you've got to prospect daily. Now, just stop writing for a second and just focus here because I need to add some points to this. You see, in my lifetime, my father had a clothing store, so I sold women's apparel at the age of nine. Little kid selling jeans when jeans were the hot thing. We didn't quite do those John Travolta white spandex suits that they wore, but uh, anyhow, you get the idea. Jordache jeans, Daniel Heschner, any of those names ring a bell with any of these? Apple shirts, velour tops, <laughs> bell bottoms, and then wide legs. Anyhow, I sold clothes. Then from there, my mother got into the pizza business, and she had like two Pizza Hut franchises. They were Pizza Hut, but in Canada, you get the same idea. So then I made pizzas, sold pizzas, delivered pizzas. Then from there, I got into the real estate business. And then from there, my brother and I bought the company, built a real estate company, and then, um, whatever, 15, 16 years goes by quick, I sold that real estate company, and I've been in the training and speaking business ever since. I tell you that, not to brag, I tell you this for one reason. In my life, I've sold clothes, I've sold food, I've sold um, uh, real estate, and self-help. In that town where I grew up in, I put clothes on your back, I put food in your belly, or I put housing over your head. The three necessities of life. If you ever want to get into business, pick one of those three because it's something no matter what's happening, people need. Here's what I want to tell you about those businesses. They're all consistent in one thing. You've got to have inventory. You go into a clothing business and you got no clothes on the shelf, are you in business, yes or no? You go into a restaurant, they got no food in the fridge to cook, and they got a problem, yes or no? Well, you're in the real estate business, man. And if you don't have inventory, you have a problem. You want to make more money in less time, put more fun, have peace and stability and consistent cash flow and all of those things, you've got to build inventory, which means you've got to prospect daily. Your first job every day is to find one person that wants to meet with you to sell a piece of real estate. You need to invest money in marketing and have people come to you. How much should I invest? Take 10 cents of every dollar you earn and put it into a marketing fund. And don't ever spend a penny on marketing if you can't spend it for six months, even if it doesn't make any money. So when you go to buy that billboard, before you buy that billboard, you ask yourself this question. If I did not make a penny off of this marketing piece for six months, how would it affect my life? I've had people buy billboards instead of paying their mortgage. And I said to them, what are you? Don't get me wrong, but what are you, a head of lettuce? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not mad at you, but I'm mad at you. Because you don't have to spend a bunch of money in real estate to make a bunch of money. But you gotta give me work ethic, you gotta give me tenacity, and you gotta be able to hear, and hear the words no. And if you can't dare, deal with that, then hang it up now and go get a paycheck job. You know, it's like the people say, oh, well, Mark, I just do a few deals a year. I said, well, then sign up for the program. Do a few deals in the, uh, for the year. By the end of January, get the hell out of our way because we've got to make a living. <laughs> I ain't knocking anybody. I'm just trying to make some light out of some stuff. You with me? But you've got to prospect daily. Your job, when it's said and done, is to book three listing appointments a week and bring in one listing. Everything else is delegatable. 50 listings a year, man. The managers would handle everything if you brought in 50 a year. With that reason. You need to work a target list of 500 before you market to the whole city. Work your target list first. Why? You'll make more money and you'll spend less doing it. Four personal contacts a year. Use the mail to maintain relationship. Don't ever think the mail's going to build relationships for you, gang. 
It's not just our industry. Go to the pizza industry. Go to any industry. If you get a 3% return on a direct mailer, that's a heck of a return. Go read.